Ever since the moment that our universe was created by the Big Bang more than 13.7 billion years ago, scientists have never stopped searching for answers in the process of our formation. For all the mysteries that have emerged regarding the black void that seems to surround us, that did not stop our minds from imagining the most terrifying aliens, TV shows and science fiction concepts. Yet, as scientists venture on into the void day by day, they are only shedding more light on what is out there in the vastness of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at some of the latest advancements in the field of space exploration. Scientists believe there could be an anti-universe next to ours. The idea of there being multiple universes has long been a key idea in numerous branches of theoretical physics to explain some of the mysteries of quantum mechanics. It had gone through phases in its life, as all ideas do when they develop and evolve. First proposed by Hugh Everett III in 1957, he named it the Relative State Formulation, or the Everett Interpretation basically stating that there are an infinite number of universes to account for every combination of possibility within not just our own universe, but all of the other universes too. It was not until the 1970s when it donned the name the Many Words Theory and became much more popular. Today, the concept has formed the basis of science fiction tropes, become a fun plotline or even coined terms completely unrelated to quantum mechanics. For example, Think about how casually we talk about the multiverse, or how this is often an explanation for the Mandela Effect, or even the naming of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. While to most of us non-physicists out there, this concept is fun to think about, we often dismiss it as a genuine possibility quite quickly. Each explanation of quantum mechanics has been deemed as valid as one another, and the many worlds interpretation remains prevalent in the field today. Not only that, but scientists have a new breakthrough that could push us one step closer to understanding the impact the many worlds interpretation could be having upon not just our universe, but a possible other too. This somewhat new suggestion is a little different than the many worlds theory, suggesting instead not infinite universes detailing every one of life's possibilities, but instead an antiverse where time runs differently than how we know it to. Scientists have been investigating the symmetrical nature of the universe and it has led to questions about just how far these patterns can stretch, with some presenting the idea of an anti-universe right beside us that is essentially a mirror image of our own. One of the most distinct traits is that time could allegedly run backwards in this theoretical universe, in reverse than what we know. Another existing concept in physics is the idea that there are some fundamental symmetries in the universe. There are three factors understood to be symmetrical throughout the universe, and they are charge, parity, and time. This theory is referred to as CPT symmetry. The general notion is that a physical system that exists and is made up of particles will follow the same laws as an identical system made up of antiparticles like a mirror image of one another. Not only are the physical properties flipped, other aspects, namely time, are too, meaning the antiparticles will also move backwards in time. All physical interactions in the universe tend to have these symmetries. Further heightening this excitement is that as of 2022, physicists are yet to find an instance where all three laws of nature, charge, parity and time are being broken at once. New theorization seems to suggest that this rule could apply not only to the interactions that take place within our universe, but also to the universe as a whole, meaning there could be a second universe symmetrical to our own. A paper accepted for publication in the journal Annals of Physics in March 2022 saw researchers suggest that the hot, dense formation of the early universe gave us a great deal of uniformity. This regularity has been credited to making time look symmetrical as it goes both forwards and backwards. If we accept that this symmetry is present completely throughout the universe, then when do we draw the line? Who or what is to say that the possibility of this anti-universe is not plausible? This would be a significant breakthrough in theoretical physics, possibly explaining dark matter. 
we currently have three neutrinos, a type of subatomic particle. These neutrino types are the electron, neutrino, muon neutrino, and the tau neutrino, all of which are left spinning. If we were to have an anti-universe alongside our own, the symmetrical nature would make these neutrinos right spinning, something that is necessary for our understanding of dark matter, but that we have not yet discovered, at least within our own universe. If we did have evidence of right spinning neutrinos in our universe, this could account for the dark matter that has gone undiscovered thus far, filling in a huge gap in our knowledge. In reality, this is not something that we are able to definitively test, though testable theories can help to point us into the right direction. For example, researchers have hypothesized that if we were ever able to detect these new elusive neutrinos, one of these three new right-spinning particles should have no mass. Therefore, if scientists can measure the mass of subatomic particles and find them to be massless, then this could point in the direction of the anti-universe theory. Similar conclusions can be drawn if researchers were to stumble across a lack of gravitational waves. This theory is exciting, incredibly so for researchers in advancing our understanding of the world we are living in, but also for the public to see such a drastic shift in our understanding of not just one universe, but two. ALMA Telescope in Chile Finds a Baby Planet with the usage of the Very Large Telescope in Europe, scientists have gathered the first proper proof of the formation of a brand new baby planet. Positioned in the Atacama Desert in Chile, the VLT revealed to scientists that a new star system is in mid-creation with AB Aurigae, a youthful star as its host star. Research has shown that planets form around new stars from disks of cold gas and dust fusing together. But the process has never been captured by humans before. We know of it, but to discover a baby planet in the infant stages of its life is new and incredibly exciting for the astronomers involved with the finding. Anthony Boccoletti, the lead researcher from the Observatoire de Paris, France, states, Thousands of exoplanets have been identified so far, but little is known about how they form. We need to observe very young systems to really capture the moment when planets form. AB Aurigae lies 520 light-years away from the constellation of Auriga, from which AB Aurigae's name derives. The young star is a colossal blue star, but not visible in the night sky. For the longest time, researchers were not able to take detailed pictures of the planet-forming disks to determine whether a baby planet was being created or not. That is, until now. Recent captured evidence shows the gas and dust intertwining in a spiral cloud, precisely how astronomers understand new planets to form around AB Aurigae, with the almost planet already orbiting the star. Dr. Emmanuel de Folco of the Astrophysics Laboratory of Bordeaux explains the process of the spiral gas and dust and how they create a planet. It causes disturbances in the disk in the form of a wave, somewhat like the wake of a boat on a lake. This wave then sets off a reaction of creating the planet. Co-author of the study, Anne Dutry, states, The twist is expected from some theoretical models of planet formation. It corresponds to the connection of two spirals, one winding inwards of the planet's orbit, the other expanding outwards, which join at the planet location. They allow gas and dust from the disk to accrete onto the forming planet and make it grow. Analyzing this new planet as it is born will help scientists understand more about our cosmos and whether our assumptions and understanding of stars, planets, and star systems are true. Scientists discover dense structure between Earth's outer core and lower mantle. Using earthquake data gathered over the span of 30 years, scientists have found the presence of a large structure deep within the Earth's layers. These dense objects sit between the liquid outer core and lower mantle at about 3,000 kilometers below the Earth's surface. The researchers used a machine learning algorithm to comb through earthquake seismograms and find anomalies, much like the algorithm used for space telescope data. 
They sent this data through Sequencer, which analyzed hundreds of earthquakes in the Pacific Ocean from 1990 to 2018, only observing earthquakes that had at least a 6.5 magnitude. It managed to analyze 7,000 different measurements of earthquakes covering nearly the entire Pacific Basin. For this project, the scientists decided to use the data from shear, or S waves, instead of the primary, or P waves. The S waves travel after the P waves and are much slower, moving between the Earth's core and lower mantle. Their slow speed and high amplitude produce much cleaner recordings. When the S waves came into contact with these mysterious dense structures, they produced post curses, an echo signature that indicates an ultra low velocity zone or ULVZ. These zones are dense anomalies situated on the boundary of the core and mantle. They are relatively unknown. Scientists have no idea what they are made up of or how they are formed. All they know is that it is massive and dense. The structures have a diameter of about 100 kilometers or 62 miles and noticeably slow down the waves passing through it, signaling that it is big. Sequence have found an anomaly that had never been detected before underneath the Marquesas Islands in French Polynesia. It also showed that the structure beneath Hawaii is much larger than what was initially believed. These two locations displayed the strongest post-cursor signatures, which scientists argue is evidence of two mega ULVZs that stretches for over 1,000 kilometers. These zones are ancient. Scientists think they might even be made of materials that predate the existence of our moon. The massive collision that broke off a piece of the Earth to become its moon occurred more than 4 billion years ago which means the zones might have exotic or primitive geological features. The researchers intend to continue working through the datasets and utilizing Sequencer to find other hidden information. They also want to include data from the Atlantic Ocean as well. Our Earth's layers are a mystery to us, so scientists are ever curious and hope to expand our knowledge and understanding of this unknown aspect of Earth. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.